Now that we've looked at what a database can do, let's create a database. We can either create a database using an access template that's been supplied by Microsoft, or we can create a blank database. Uh, you may not always find a template that meets the needs of your business or your client. So let's start by selecting a blank database. To begin with, it's going to ask you for the name. Let's call this one Quest. Then I'm going to click OK or Create. It's going to create my database for me with some basics. I have Table 1 and I have my first field here that I can select from. What I'm going to do next is here in the upper left hand corner at the view, I'm going to change the view. Currently I'm in the datasheet view and I want to change to design view. So I'm going to click design view and it asks for my table to have a name. This particular table I'm going to call customer. So I'm going to type in customers and I'm going to click OK. Now I have the beginnings of my database for my customer table. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to type in customer ID to rename the ID so that it makes more sense. So I'm going to call it cust ID. And then from here, I'm going to press the down arrow. Now it's going to create another field. You'll notice that customer ID was an auto number and it has the key next to it. When I come down, I'm going to type in first name. I'm going to hit the down arrow. Then I'm going to type in last name, down arrow. And you'll notice that both of those came up as data types short text. Next, I want to capture a phone number and a birthday. All of those came up as short text. I do not want the birthday to stay as short text. So this can be changed by clicking here at short text and you'll get a drop down menu. From here, I'm going to tell it that I want it to be a date time selection. So I'm going to click date time and you'll see now that birthday is set to date time. I'm going to change my view from design back to my data sheet view and it says you must first save the table. So I'm going to say yes to saving the table. Now my customer ID currently says new. Here I'm going to hit the tab key. I'm going to type in a first name and I want you to type your first name in here. Then you're going to hit tab, type your last name. For phone number, let's just put in 111-222-3333. Since it's a phone number and it's short text and I did not format it to be a phone number, you'll need to put the hyphens or the dashes in where needed. Next, I'm going to hit tab. And for the birth date, I'm going to put in 1 slash 32 slash 1980. That's not a correct date, so it should error out and not let me make that selection. And you'll see that it tells me that it's incorrect and it wants me to enter a correct date. So I can press escape and type in 1 backspace out 31 1980. And that takes it because the 31st is a correct date in the year 1980. You can continue entering your data into your spreadsheet in this form. Let's go ahead and add a few more. Now that I have three names in here, I'm going to go ahead and close out this table. I can simply right click and tell it to close and it closes the table out for me.